Hi there, and welcome to this week's edition of Top End Track Talk. I'm Andrew O'Toole, and today we'll be having a look at this coming Saturday's meeting here from Fanny Bay in Darwin, which is the 8th of May. Unfortunately, the benchmark 76 1200 was abandoned due to a lack of entries, so a four race card will be the order of the day this weekend. Darwin has not raced for a fortnight, and after this Saturday's fixture, there's another two week break until regular racing returns to the top end. Before we get underway with the selections for Saturday, many congratulations to the connections of all winners during the Alice Springs Cup weekend just concluded. The Cup went the way of I'm the Fox, trained by Gary Lafoe and ridden by Jason Lyon, while the Pioneer Sprint was won by Smuggling, prepared by Phil Cole and ridden by another Victorian jockey in Jason Maskeel. The focus now shifts to the top end and the build-up to the Darwin Cup Carnival, which will be upon us before we know it. This Saturday, racing gets underway at the late afternoon time of 3.36pm, with the last of the four races time to go at 20 past five. The opener is the Darwin Golf Club Race Day Handicap. Big uh, uh, welcome to the team from the Darwin Golf Club. And the events are 1,600 metres for zero to 70 gallopers. My numbers are three, six and two. A six horse field to start the day over the 1600 metres and uh, looks one of the better bets of the day for mine. Number three, Escondido, trained by Gary Clark. Kim Gladwin in the saddle. Uh, it was a really good run last time out behind uh, Master Rati. That was on the 24th of April, so a fortnight ago. He's up in trip and down in grade. The increase in distance will really help this horse. That was uh, 1300 last time. He's a real uh, miler plus horse as Escondido and a very smart type. I really like the uh, horse. He's coming back in grey. That was a benchmark 76. He's back to the zero to 70. This looks his race. Number three on top for me. To beat number six, highly decorated. Nicole Brueggemann's had a great time of it uh, with her runners here in the last couple of meetings. Alice Lindsay takes them out here. This horse won last time out on the 24th of April. That was 1300. So going up in trip and up in grey. That was a uh, class two event. So a bit of a step up for this horse, but um, certainly racing well. And in for third, uh, the stable mate of Escondido, number two, Captain Apollo. He was uh, a winner two starts back over a mile. He ran a third last time behind Master Rati over 1300. And in a race of this nature, he can't be left out. Jared Todd for Gary Clark. In the first, three, six and two. The second's the Darwin Golf Club Bunker Bash Handicap. Sounds like a bit of my golf, bashing out of a bunker. This is the benchmark 54 over 1200 metres. Numbers here are three, five and two. Mr Hazy was a really good run, I thought, last time out uh, over the trip of 1200 metres. So same trip, same uh, class, a benchmark 54. Chris Nash has only got a small team at the present time, but he's building those numbers. He's going well. He's got a couple of uh, decent horses in his team. And I think Mr Hazy, with Barry Huppets in the saddle, will take a power of beating. Uh, the horse he beat last time, uh, Count of Essex, is a rival again. But uh, Mr Hazy beats that... Uh, uh, Mr Hazy rather meets that horse a kilo and a half better and I think uh, that will be key. So three on top. To beat number five with pleasure, Phil Cole trains, no rider declared as yet. Uh, a winner three starts back and then the last two runs a third and a second. Never goes a bad race, a consistent galloper should be right in the mix. And in for third, Count of Essex, the horse I mentioned just a tick ago, uh, Jared Todd for Gary Clark. Uh, beat Mr Hazy last time out but the turnaround in weights uh, I think will play into Mr Hay Z's hands. One, no, rather, three, five and two, the numbers. The third's the up and down for bogey handicap. This one, a zero to 64. It's over the 1100 metres and my numbers here are one, three and six. Forget his last run, uh, Torchbearer. It was totally out of character for him when he finishing at the tail behind uh, Tornado of Souls. He's dropping back in trip from the 1200 to the 1100. I think that's... Um, probably a key. His earlier form was super, two uh, seconds, two thirds from his previous four runs and uh, Wayne Davis goes aboard for Phil Cole. I'm prepared to allow him another chance. One on top. To beat number three, Extolment. Been racing really consistently for Emma Steele. Adam Nichols aboard. Put two together over 1600 metres and 1300 and then last time out back to the mile, finished third uh, behind Master Rati. Coming down in grade, coming down in trip, uh, in fact, right back to the 1100, that's probably the only question mark for me, but has to be included in a field of this nature. And in for third, number six, must be Moe, another of the informed Brueggemann team. Jesse Philpot visiting from Alice Springs. Uh, was a winner two starts back, then second to Familiar last time out. Goes up in grade a little here, but uh, should be right in the mix as well. Numbers in the third, one, three and six. 
The last of the four, time to go at 20 past five, is the four off the tee, Trovis Maiden. For the non-winners, one will be a maiden no longer after this and uh, an eight-horse field to go around in the last. So each way uh, betting in this one. Numbers in the last seven, two and one. Fresh up runner here, number seven, Pneumatic Sands. Uh, quite like this horse, trained by the uh, Alice Springs Cup winning trainer in uh, Gary Lafoe. Jared Todd aboard. Jared had a couple of wins on Alice Springs Cup Day on Sunday. So he's in good form. This horse uh, last campaign uh, finished two seconds and a third. Uh, and the third was behind the very smart obligatory, of course, ran second in the Guineas in Alice Springs. Uh, first up uh, since January, since Australia Day, but I think um, fresh up over the 1100 should take a power of beating. Seven on top for me to beat number two, Love Over Gold. This is a newcomer to the Gary Clark stable, formerly trained by Carl Spry in uh, Townsville and uh, makes its way to the top end now. Jared Todd takes the mount. Last started back in November at Innisfail, finished fourth on that occasion. So. Um, should uh, be uh, one to keep right in your multiples here. I think love over gold. And in for third number one, deep seated. Disappointed a bit last time. Uh, still hasn't won. He's had uh, nine starts, three seconds and a third. Phil Cole trains, Barry Huppets in the saddle. But uh, I'd prepare to keep him uh, safe in this lineup. In the last seven, two and one. Best bet of the day comes up in the first. Get the money early. Race one, number three, Escondido. Certainly looks his race uh, over the 1,600 metres. He's a pretty good galloper, this fellow, and I think um, heading the right way as he heads towards the carnival. So race one, number three, Escondido. Well, the best roughies in the last. Um, give this horse a chance, I really do. Race four, number five, Au Pair from the Phil Cole Stable. Race uh, four, number five, Au Pair. Well, that wraps up this edition of Top End Tractor, uh, but we'll be back in a fortnight in advance of our next meeting here in the Top End, which is the 22nd of May. But don't forget, next week we venture to Tennant Creek for the club's uh, annual fixture down there, the Two Cups fixture. And for the very first time, you'll be able to see the Tennant Creek races on Sky 2. Uh, so don't miss that. And until next time, good luck and good punting.